Hey, what's up? It's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. And what had happened was when I rebuilt the head, I had to cut that that EGR tube. You can see I've got hose clamps on it and uh, all kinds of other stuff on there. I had to rebuild that. Uh, excuse me, I had to cut that because I could not uh, budge it. I could not get that EGR tube off there. And uh, <clears throat> so what I what I did it initially is I had the sleeve that I put over it and put in between it. Then I wrap uh, like uh, a tin can over it. Then I put the hose clamps over it. And so it, and then I stuffed the ends with uh, the fiberglass. I had some fiberglass, this fiberglass rope. I've seen people do this. Uh, it's a stove fix. Basically you get the stove cement and you get the fiberglass uh, seal for the stove and you mix it all together and put it in there. It's, uh, it works for about two weeks. And then, well, depends upon how much I drive, but basically maybe uh, each each time I fix it with the sleeve over it and then packing it with this various stuff. And I tried this fiber fix stuff and uh, fiber fix stuff seemed to work okay. I, I made the mistake. The only thing is, is once you get, once you use a little bit of this fiber fix, once you expose it to the air, the fiber fix basically it all it all hardens up like a rock. So yeah, it's just it just hardens up like a rock once you use it. So if you don't use the whole thing, um, you know it just dries up. You can't do anything with it. So that's that. And so what I've got is this, this thermal uh, thermal seal. And instead of putting a sleeve over the two, what I did is I put this, I put a, uh, a pipe in between it so it's actually inside of both the, the EGR tube and the, and the manifold uh, nut area. So hopefully, and then I wrapped it with aluminum and then I wrapped it with uh, fiberglass. I had, um, and we'll soon find out. Um, I've heard some pretty good, uh, I've heard some pretty good reviews about this stuff. Um, and also what I had, because I've got a radiator, it's a heater tube back here, I had to put a shield over that heater tube, because initially when I had this sleeve over it, it would, it would blow out, and it would blow out the sides, and it would heat up that radiator tube, and, uh, it blew it out, and luckily I didn't have too far to go, but I was watching my heat gauge go up on the freeway, and, uh, knew there was something wrong, so it was a real slow leak because it was just the heat, you know, it's just the heat from that manifold was shooting about four inches, enough to heat that and melt that radiator, uh, that uh, heater tube, uh, that rubber tube back there with the shield, this one here. And, uh, and actually what I did is I repaired that with a in, internal, uh, whatever, shunt or something. It's a tube, basically I put a tube inside the tube uh, rubber uh, hoses and so it's got a kind of a steel in between part that uh, seemed to work fine um, and so anyway yeah we're gonna try this one and you can see I put a coat hanger on there because what happens is there tends to be pressure on that tube so it, it tends to push itself apart so I've got this coat hanger on here to kind of hold it together and uh, hopefully that will that will solve the problem and so thanks for watching, and please rate, comment, and subscribe. Adios, amigos.